please remain on the line and your call will be answered as soon as possible. Hey guys, I'm sitting here on hold. I'm, I'm, I'm on hold with the Samsung store and I, I just, I was listening to the Bose uh, Soundlink Flex 2. This, this joint right there. See that? All right, this is my new speaker, man. I really, really have enjoyed it over the last uh, couple of days. I didn't know Bose was doing it like this, man. I, I told y'all my story about how I felt about Bose speakers. Anyways, I did not know it had a microphone. I'm listening to the music in the bathroom, and then I decide, okay, I need to call Samsung so I can go pick up my, my new watch. Uh, and it just starts ringing. I was like, damn, okay, cool. <laughs> but that's not what this video is about. But, but I have to tell you, when the hold music came on, I noticed that even the freaking hold music had bass. That's freaking nuts. Anyways, that's not what the video is about. So I'm, I'm still on hold. <laughs> Let me turn that down. Hopefully they don't come on while I'm talking to y'all because I'm going to make a quick series of videos. I got lots of speakers to compare this thing to, such as, let me turn this down some more, such as um, the JBL Charge 5. See that joint? All right, that's the Charge 5 right there. And then we have the JBL Flip 6. That's that, that focus, focus. There you go. All right, so that's the JBL Flip 6 right there. Then we got the Sony Alt Field 1, which is one of my faves, especially from this year. Uh, and then we have an oldie. Well, it's not an oldie, but this is definitely a top tier speaker in my book, which is the Soundcore Motion 300. Can't compare them all in one video, and I don't want to spend a crap ton of time doing a bunch of stuff. So I'm gonna make a quick series. This is video one of this series. As we go along, we'll do just you know a quick a quick video of each of them with some sound samples and my personal opinion, and then you can make your opinion uh, based off my sound samples. But anyways, this one's gonna be about the JBL Charge 5 but, uh, versus the Bose Soundlink 2, or Soundlink Flex 2. Dude, okay, so first of all, without a doubt, okay, this is how we're gonna do this, man. Specs are specs, numbers are numbers. Companies can put anything they wanna put on paper, but the only thing I care about is real world performance and how you know things actually work. Hold up, let me make sure. Okay, <laughs> I'm still on hold, bro. <laughs> <clears throat> Anyways, it's real world performance, man. That's what's important to me. And everybody knows that the JBL Charge 5 is one of my favorites of all time. It is hard to beat this speaker, even at the $189 or $179 price tag that this thing is at retail you can catch it on sale for like 150 sometimes like 135 or something like that but this one's brand new the Bose Soundlink Flex 2 at 150 dollars okay maybe Black Friday or something it'll be on sale for like 130 maybe even 99 who knows but as of right now this speaker cost less than this speaker okay so when we talk about specs we're getting about the same amount of battery uh, life out of these things 20 hours a piece I think uh, as far as sound quality though that's that's what I'm really want to talk about right here uh, all the other stuff is roundabout the same you get the same you know durability ratings and stuff like that but we got a massively different form factor I really adore this form factor because it is front firing and up firing that way everybody gets the sound it's kind of like a dome that spreads out above the speaker this thing also has a freaking speakerphone. JBL does not put speakerphones in their speaker. So, man, JBL, you gotta start doing that, dude. Anyways, JBL is a fun speaker. This one, I have enjoyed having it around the house. I also have a, uh, a beige one, or they call it sandstone, I think. And they look good around the house, just laying there. You know what I mean? They don't really call your attention like a JBL speaker does, where it says, hey, I'm JBL. Uh, Bose speakers do not do that. If you check that out, it's just, you know, a nice, subtle focus, man. Get focused, dude. Put your glasses on. There you go. All right. Yeah, Bose doesn't really call for attention. It's just kind of like an object, okay? Just sitting there on the table or whatever. But that's all there is to say about that. In regards to, hold up, hold up. Okay, I'm still holding. <laughs> let, me, let me hurry up. Let me get this done. Sound quality. This is my personal opinion. Okay. Oh, I don't want to say this, but Bose, Bose wins this one. Okay. Bose wins this one, but the JBL charge five is louder. It has more power as it should. It's a bigger speaker, bigger cabinet. And it's in a, I, I want to say it's even in a different class of speaker. Okay. But it is louder. It has a great sound quality, but it's a little bright when you compare it to something like the Bose Soundflex or Bose Soundlink Flex 2. 
Now I know both of these have a three band EQ. Y'all know I do not do my test like that. Everything is run on flat because that's how the manufacturer intended it to be. Uh, and when you do that, you find that this is a warmer speaker, but you still get really clean mids and highs and the mids fill the area. They fill in the gaps like a mid is supposed to do. Whereas, especially when you turn it up to higher volumes, this one remains a little bit more balanced, actually quite a bit more balanced than the JBL Charge 5. So when you turn this up to high volumes, it almost falls apart, okay? But when you turn this one up to high volumes, 80, 100%, yeah, you lose a little bit of everything, right? It kind of loses control, but it, it remains more intact as far as sound quality than the JBL Charge 5. And at lower volumes, 50%, maybe 60 all the way down to like 30%, this thing is killing it. It crushes the hell out of the JBL Charge 5 as far as fidelity and audio quality. I, I love the way this thing sounds. It just sounds so freaking amazing. And I'm really impressed with what Bose has done because like I said in my previous video, I don't really do Bose like that, but they have crushed the JBL Charge 5. And it's a sad day in JBL fanboy land because I just prefer the Bose over this one, even though, dang, Charge 5, that's, this is my joint right here, but definitely going with Bose on this one. But if you need more power, more loudness, uh, then yeah, JBL Charge 5 is the way to go. Now, I'm gonna try to wrap up some more of these videos. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do part two of this series uh, next, but hopefully they get on the phone, man, because I'm really tired of holding. How long have I been on the phone with these guys? Man, it don't even say. Seven minutes. I've been on hold for seven minutes. Either way, check out the sound samples, and I'll see you when I see you. Thank <laughs> you.